Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to, what's the word? Jump. Thomas Was Alone is not alone in the idea that this is an amazing indie puzzle game, which takes a very simple gameplay idea and plays a narrative giving every moving object in the game a character and story arc which is uplifting and heartwarming. Created by Mike Bittell, sorry about the bad pronunciation, and released in October 2010 with a re-release in 2012, this is a story about Thomas, the friends he finds, and the meaning of his life in the strange world he lives in. This is a very simple game, but gives you the right puzzle balance to make it engaging, and the story keeps you driving forward to make you want to complete it. I say simple in that you start off as a rectangle, who has to, like a kid with a block game, get yourself into the same shaped portal to progress. This game isn't particularly hard, but it makes you feel reflective and peaceful, and brings a positive idea which I think is really hard to come by these days in video games. Most games I see are centered around violence and disappointment rather than enlightenment. And here's a great segue into music, which is beautiful. If you purchase the game, get it with the soundtrack, because it's beautiful and amazing, and perfectly brings you into the world, and also supports the feelings that I mentioned before. One of the ways that Thomas Was Alone brings to life the on-screen characters is through its sound design. In particular, the jumping sounds that each individual block makes, which have been really well thought of, to give you just a little more separation of personality between each blocks. And also the visual style, each block has its own colour, which seems to represent its personal character. Now, should you buy this game? Well, here's another yes, because I can't see many people disliking this game. It can be played level by level, it doesn't need to be played alone, though it doesn't have a multiplayer. It's cheap, runs great, and is a fun experience. So buy and enjoy. This is an indie game which I will remember for a while. Anyway, that's me signing off. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, or leave a comment if there's anything that you'd like to see, or if you agree, or whatever. Yeah, thanks very much for listening. Okay, bye. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. <laughs>